Oh man, it's been a while since I last hopped online. So much has changed. Can the grind Kayo, there's a luxury car thingy, that's pretty neat. You can also enter the shop of an average Polish car thief. Ooh, he has a ladder. I must resist the temptation. He's got some pretty neat cars in here. Okay, how much for the ladder? A hundred thousand! The entire thing is barely worth 50 bucks. What a scam. There is also a bunch of new guns. Recently they added this gay ass rifle that my gay ass friend weighed 300k? Dude, not worth it. Yeah, it wasn't worth it. As I was saying, my gay ass friends can use this gay ass rifle to do some gay ass role playing Vietnam and Iraq. Imagine being an Americanophile and invading countries that are thousands of kilometers away. Be a Russophile like me, invade your neighbors instead. It's so much closer. And if not, you can always engage in a 5-way armed conflict in the Balkans which happen every like 3 days. They even have minor genocides, it's a great experience. Anyway, before I was recording, some douchebag called me and said he needed someone with my experience. I don't know why he needs someone with a dodgy history in Kosovo and Bosnia, but sure, let's see what he wants. We go to the dollar store version of the CIA and begin the mission. We start with a cutscene where Ivan, a Serbian war criminal, swears a patriotic oath to the US. I wouldn't really recommend it, it's probably gonna bite me in the ass, but look at all the cool stuff I get to do. I get into this pretty drip American version of the Black Volga and head to where I am told to go. I break into some rich dude's house because apparently he's manipulating the price of oil or some shit and the IAA needs access to his homework folder. I know this video is gonna get like 10 views, but if I get a thousand likes, I'm sharing the contents of my own homework folder. And yes, I have a homework folder. Don't believe me? Here it is, locked away from the prying eyes of nobody cause I just revealed its existence. We go to pick up an outfit to infiltrate the FIB quietly, and it works for approximately half a second. A violent firefight erupts, in which tragic loss of life- Nah, I'm kidding, I hate NPCs and if I could I would deep fry all of their balls and execute them. I clear out the building of non-sentient filth and activate my inner Romanian. I find some hardware I'm supposed to steal and exit the building, where the horrible dead joke of law enforcement awaits. I proceed to completely ignore it on my way to the second location, which is a warehouse of some sort. I can't see anything interesting. I decide to navigate the place using my minimap. After an amount of time I'm not willing to reveal, I realize I can use a flashlight. Wow. My brain is a fucking liquid. I grab the stuff and sure enough I need to do some pest control before I can get in my car. I deliver it to the drop off and instead of handing it over, I trash the guy's car. Because all of it was a ruse, Ivan is in fact a member of the KGB and has been ordered to infiltrate the American intelligence agency in order to achieve property damage and drain their budget. In our next mission, Mr. Agent says the FIB yeeted drones all over the city and our job is to hack him. And that's what we do, it's not very difficult. Mr. Agent says he knows from where the drones are being controlled and so we go there. Where is there? It's a motel. We enter, but the FIB pull off an Auschwitz on us. Ivan wakes up next to a bomb. It's almost like he was living in Syria. We deactivate it before it can demote Ivan to an ex-human. We also steal the entire van to serve as evidence. It's a really funny word that. Like what's evidence? Why do we need it? I'm not familiar with the concept. Americans are weird. We deliver the van and trash the guy's car. Really satisfying. On our next mission, Mr. Agent tells us that a fellow operative has disappeared. I can speak out of experience. When someone disappears, don't bother looking for that person. The hot will end either by a mass grave or a Siberian gulag. And even then, once you get to those locations, you're not leaving is all I'm saying. We go to the missing person's garage and start looking for clues. My Polish genes take over and I proceed to rob a car, which just so happened to be the clue that we needed to find her. We go to the desert and sure enough, I find the aftermath of when someone said Kosovo is Albanian on the internet. I attempt a rescue mission which fails horribly, until it doesn't. I show her my glorious heart bassinator 5000, but she doesn't compliment by superior slav design. She just goes on babbling about the conspiracy, what an absolute suka. On the way she says she feels dizzy and wants to go to the hospital. I go there, but I might just say, if that's Novichok, the doctors are not gonna help. Next up, Mr. Agent wants us to seize the technology used to manipulate fuel prices. However, we can do that cause GPS is retarded. And so we start the process of demoting jamming antennas into piles of junk. Once we do all of that, we commit being born in Bucharest on the equipment. 
Of course, the enemy didn't really appreciate the amount of skill it took Kivan to get to this point and decided to ruin all of my work. Blyat. Second time's the charm, though, so all is good. Only like Mr. Agent Scar. Oh, and as a side note, look at this dude. I bet he's British. What the fuck is he wearing? Why can't people just be normal and wear Gopnik tracks? But ah, well, we're in the end game now. Our last mission is to crush a party, essentially. We go to the place and get spotted immediately. Ivan blasts his way to the elevator where it doesn't go well. But then we get to the top and die. At some point, we actually manage to get to the last floor and it goes, uh. I'm gonna just show you how it went. However, Ivan is a stupid boy and for once banging my head against the wall actually worked. We managed to damage the fleeing helicopter with the stuff. Ivan goes chasing after it and sure enough it had to do an emergency landing. I kill my way all the way to Duggan and steal his briefcase. Why is it always in the briefcase? Why not use an adidas bag like this one? These things can fit anything inside no matter if it's your phone or uh, your neighbor's dog. Glorious adidas bag never disappoints and at least it's not another briefcase. I go to your boy and... Uh, you know maybe he had enough of me handing the L to his car. After doing that all over again we deliver. Great success. Ivan has saved the American consumers from being juiced harder than they are and as a member of the KGB successfully trashed Mr. Agent's car. But you know what time it is? For thoughts and opinions and other things that will get me sent to Gulag. All in all I earned somewhere between 150 and 200k. And that's for doing a couple missions that took me about 3 hours to complete but do bear in mind... Yeah that. Is it worth the money? Depends. If you just started the game, you could potentially do it for some quick cash, alongside doing all the uh, weapon challenges. If you want a break from routine, then it also might be a nice refresher. Not something I'll do to earn money from though. You get much more from heists, the nightclub and auto shop contracts. But yeah, last thing about this is there really wasn't enough people saying that you should subscribe to Vlog of Boris. Or else.